It's hard to believe it's been five years already since we took ownership of our Can-Am Spider. Uh, it's been a very interesting journey so far. We expect when we got it to have a lot of adventure, and we have. We've logged over 20,000 miles on it ourselves since we've had it, and we've gone on a number of odysseys. So the big question is, do we have any regrets of spending the time and money to buy and maintain this machine? And that's what we're going to talk about today, along with covering the maintenance costs we've experienced over the past five years and uh, doing a summary of the uh, adventures we've taken uh, on our Spider. So that's going to be the topic of today's video, along with what the future may hold. thoughts on the spider after five years well we expected adventure and we definitely found it but we found something we hadn't anticipated and that is the community the community of our viewers like yourself and the people who we become friends with uh, either uh, by exchanging comments to writing with to the unexpected encounter when we're out traveling and somebody recognizes us we hadn't expected that and that is just such a hoot But to really put it in the context, let's start back at the beginning. August 24th, 2014, Sunday, a little after four, a week or so, we sort of had this bug about acquiring a three-wheel motorcycle, a Can-Am or something very similar to that. Then there's the, uh, the practical uh, aspect to it. Is it prudent to spend about twenty thousand dollars on a toy this is really what it's going to be it's just going to be an expensive toy just some thoughts on why we choose to move forward with the most illogical thing that a human being can do but i think that's what we want to do what about miriam when i pulled up the local can and dealer and saw that they had uh, inventory and saturday we were out doing some errands and she said you want to go buy that dealership and look at those motorcycles so we will see how this dream progresses and that these little video journals uh, wherever progress to actually achieving a goal of whether I'm just playing out a fantasy in my own head but we'll see this is Can-Am Touring Possibility video number one and now let's spend a minute and talk about maintenance on the spider maintenance is pretty straightforward I really only had to do my spring maintenance for the most part, maybe a few add-ons here and there. So we're going to cover those in detail. In 2017, after we brought the Spider home, I went ahead and changed out the rear tire. Yes, I used the Kendra tires, uh, which is recommended for the Canem Spider. Why? When I can save some money by using a car tire? You know, some folks went to engineering school, and they decided through their computations that the tire that is produced by Kendra is the one that should be used on the Spider for a lot of different reasons, and I've got a video on that subject up here. Um, I didn't go to engineering school, so I'm going to rely on the folks who did, and I'm going to use what they recommend. The following year, in 2018, I went ahead and changed out the uh, front brake pads because they were showing enough wear to change those out, and of course the annual oil change. In 2019, I installed the tow hitch and the power harness for the trailer, and that required me to remove the axle bolt. And we found that for whatever reason, the axle bolt appeared to be stripped. I don't know if I did it or whether it was done uh, somewhere before I took ownership of the Spider. Went ahead and changed that out, did it myself, ordered the part. I believe that was about $130. And of course, we did the oil change. The following year, in 2020, I went ahead and did the oil change and flushed the cooling system. Now, some of the online information I found, it said, don't use the drain valve on the radiators. Uh, that could result in some damage to the radiators and a very expensive price tag. The best solution was to actually disconnect the radiator hose from the bottom of the radiator and drain it that way. I did it, refilled it, works fine. 
Okay, last year in 2021, I had a whole list of things I did. Besides the oil change, I changed out one of the two headlamps. Had to order both of them, because, but I only needed one. So I have a spare. Changed out the fuel filter, changed out the HCM filter, and replaced the battery. The battery was at the end of its uh, useful life, and it was showing it wasn't really holding the charge. I'd rather change it out than be stranded on the side of the road someplace. Changed out the rear brake pads, and if you haven't changed out the rear brake pad on the Spider yourself, I recommend you watch some tutorials and to make sure you do it right. This is not a simple type of wheel where you can compress the caliper back into the piston or the piston back into the caliper. If you try that, you're going to damage it. There is a process for doing that. I've got a video I'm going to put up here on how I did that. And then I took it over to my dealership and had the two front tires and replaced the back tire for the second time. We're getting plenty of life out of the back tire, so I have no complaints. And I had them do a laser alignment of the, uh, of the Spider. And besides the tires, I think that's the only thing I've ever had this, the, the actual dealership do. I've done all the maintenance myself. If you're the kind of person that uh, can turn a wrench, you can do your own maintenance for the most part. There's a simple stuff like the oil changes and changing the filters. It takes a little time, a little bit of patience, watch some YouTube videos, and you can do it yourself, save yourself a lot of money. I'd rather watch YouTube videos, do it myself, this save the shop rate. My shop is good. I trust them. I, I, they, they do good work. It's just that I need to save the money. So how much did it cost to do the maintenance of my spider since we've owned it? Well, the grand total for uh, preventative maintenance and the, uh, the headlight and the battery and the... Uh, uh, axle was $1,962. Divide that up by the total time we've had it, it's $392 per year. Not too bad. Now coming up for this year, the Spider is due for its spark plug change out. And there's been a lot of discussion on the chat boards about spark plug change out. Even though your spark plugs may still be running fine and your gas mileage is still fine, it's starting okay, when it's time to change out your spark plugs, uh, you may want to seriously consider doing that. Besides the fact that Can-Am recommends you do that, the research that I have found indicates that if you don't change out the spark plugs when they're due, that could cause some electrical systems in the ignition components and could cost more money when it's time for you to do change them out. So uh, I'm going to save a little money and have that done. My shop has quoted me about $350 because they have to remove a lot of the uh, side panels uh, to get to the spark plugs and while they have it opened up I'm going to have them do the oil change this year so uh, might as well let them do that since they've already got it opened up no sense in taking it apart twice and while they have it opened up I'm going to ask them just to take a look around see if they can find anything else that uh, I need to address before we take it for the cross-country trip in the spring although $392 a year for maintenance on your spider may seem it'll be a, a lot um, it, it's relative compared to a lot of other things in life. It's fairly inexpensive. I have a friend that has a diesel RV push uh, motorhome, and it's always being towed to a shop for repair. Just the tow bill alone is fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, I'll just keep. We'll just keep our spider. So the big question is was it worth it in our assessment it definitely was we have absolutely no regrets whatsoever yeah we could have made some money by placing the money we spent on the spider in an investment account but to what end the objective of life in our opinion is it has to be a balance and we have to live life and it has to be fulfilling and we've done that uh, and this is the, the vehicle that we've used to do it and we have no regrets the spider and the writing community brings us a richness we had never anticipated and we wouldn't have passed it up for anything. So what's next for us and our Can-Am Spider? Well, uh, just a few short months, we are going to head out on the most ambitious road trip we have ever taken. Uh, whether it be in a car or anything, but we're going to do it on the Spider, And that is going to be a multi-month trip from our home here on the East Coast to the West Coast and back again. So before we go, I want to spend a few moments going over some of the trips we've been on in the last five years and some of the memories we've made.